Ladies and gentlemen, Ada Chang, go! <laughs> 25 years ago, I came to this country to pursue my American dream. In December last year, I made one of the most important decisions in my life. I decided to resign from my tenured university position to become a storyteller, an improviser, and a stand-up comedian. I didn't realize that this would be the first joke I tell on stage. It all started one day in August. I woke up and I heard this voice. Ada, you can do better as a stand-up comedian. Jump now. I did. Three months later, nobody took me seriously. My colleague told me to wait until my career takes off to quit my job. Taking off, you mean making it to Hollywood? At the age of 52, I have a better chance of dying than making it to Hollywood. <laughs> my dean told me to wait for a year, take on pay leave for a year to explore the lifestyle. <laughs> lifestyle, what do you mean? I'm still going to eat, live, and shit. What could possibly change? Well, a lot has happened this year. My lifestyle has certainly changed. Not in a million years would I have thought the most difficult thing for this new journey is not the brilliant jokes I have to write or tell. It's not standing in front of a large audience. It is actually a fact I have to stay up late. And it's pretty hard on my aging body. <laughs> Everything starts at 8, 9, 10, when I used to go to bed at 8, 9, 10 if nothing was happening in my life. I'm lucky enough to dig into my retirement for now, so I don't have to work the next day yet so I can sleep in the whole day to make up for the lack of sleep and the constant late night. And this is what I found out about the brutal truth of our society. The money in my bank is the privilege that I have to make up for the energy and youth I don't have in order to live in a highly stressful, socially underappreciated, and the least financially compensated lifestyle. So now, my goal is to make billions of dollars <laughs> so I can support a family of artists, performers, comedians, and storytellers. After all, these are the people that bring us joy, laughter, and beauty amidst the ugliness in the world. <laughs> when I teach at a university, I'm surrounded by young, young people, undergraduate students. You don't drink with them. <laughs> you don't do drugs with, them. drugs with them. You definitely do not have sex with them. <laughs> but, now, in, <laughs> but now, in the world of improv, stand up, and to a certain degree, storytelling, I'm surrounded by younger people compared to me, but about the age of consent and the drinking age. <laughs> so now, I can drink with people, I can do drugs with people if I want to, and I can certainly have sex with people if we agree to. It is like I suddenly land on the road, uh, uh, the role of a cougar without even auditioning for it. <laughs> well, life has been good to me so far. I don't know how my American dream is going to end, but it dawned on me a few weeks ago when my acting teacher asked us to share something emotional with the class that we usually would not share. Only one thing came to my mind. I said to the class, as an older woman, I could not have orgasm for a long, 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 long time until I bought my first magic wand. <laughs> The original model. <laughs> that 
that's how I realized my dream won't turn into a nightmare because I believe in the power of my own magic wand. Thank you. <laughs>